Welcome back to the second video in the series for creating the simple to-do list. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating the user interface for the My Tasks screen. So the first important thing to do here is to make sure that of the three layout layouts that we created in the previous video, that we're actually on the My Tasks screen. So if you go into your project browser, you can see My Tasks is one of the options if you just double click on that. And you'll know that you're in the My Tasks uh, layout if it says My Tasks right above the um, white section in the canvas area. So hopefully everybody can see that. So the first thing that we're going to need for this layout is um, a navigation rail to help us navigate around our app. So if you just drag that onto your layout. Now we're going to line this perfectly to the left hand side. You'll see the guidelines going to snap in as you get that just right. Um, and we're also going to want to have it the full height of the app. Okay, now we don't have to spend too much time getting this absolutely perfect, but I do want to show you how you would do that. So for this specific layout, there's some things on this navigation rail that I don't want. Something to know here is this is based on the material spec nav rail. Um, so it has all of the components that um, is specified. Um, there. One of the things that we don't want is we don't want the menu icon. So if I untick that, you can see it's now removed. We do want this. So this part here is called the floating action button, sometimes referred to as a fab. Um, but I do want it to be a slightly different color just to fit in with the rest of the app. If I click on RGB at the bottom here, um, twice it'll take us to hex and that's the um, color that I've got. You don't need to follow my colors perfectly, but if you want to, uh, I am using 1976D2, which should give us a nice blue color. I'm then going to just pull this slider all the way up to full, which gives us a nice blue button. Now, if we continue down the property inspector, uh, we don't need to do anything with the icon. The icon's fine, because we want to use it as an add icon. So we'll continue down a little bit further until we get to the destination section. These are our destinations. Um, you can see that we have three by default. I am going to get rid of one of them. The um, software that I'm using to record my screen is a little bit laggy. Um, that'll be what you're seeing if you um, if you're if that's coming through in the recording or not. Um, so. I want to quickly change the icons. Uh, for the first one, I want to change this to a list. There's a few options here. I'm going to choose this last one. And then for this one here, I want to change it to an info. So I'll go ahead and change that to info. Okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly close a couple of things on my computer to see if I can help with the lagging that the screen recording is having at the moment. Um, hopefully that is overcome. Now, something else that we don't want is we don't want these labels for the specific design. So we can, you can see there's a few options here as to when, when they show, but I never want them to show. So I'll choose never. Now I'm going to make this just a little bit wider here. Um, we could leave everything exactly how it was, um, but I'm just going to spend a little bit of time getting the UI looking nice. Um, okay, so we don't need to do anything with the labels because we've removed the labels, but we do want to change the destination icon color. Now I'm going to change this to just a light grayish color, one six three um by one six three and in the b section one six three okay and i'm just going to drag that up again to right up to 100 percent that should give us a nice sort of light gray icon um i'm going to change the hover to just a slightly darker gray, we'll go with 115, 
115 and 115. Right, perfect. And again, drag that all the way up. And then finally, the highlight color, we're going to have that as the same blue color that we use over here. So we'll just pick that from there and we'll put that all the way up to 100%. Okay, um, this is the active destination indicator is just how this, um, sh there's various ways that this can display once it's selected. If that is on, you get a big circle or, or, or um, rounded rectangle box around your icon. We don't want it on for the specific design, so I'm just gonna switch it off there. Right, that's pretty much everything that we need for our navigation rail. The next thing that we will need um, for this design um, is the simple list widget. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drag on the simple list. This is where our to-do list items will display. And in a future video, we will connect this to our um, collections area via data binding. So that's something to look forward to in a couple of videos time. Right, so we've got a nice simple list. Um, this list, again, it does follow a material design spec. Um, it is it is what it says in the tin. It is a very simple list, but it does cover a lot of use cases. We, it's made up of a few different sections. So we've got the left section here, which could be an icon. It could be an avatar. We've got our title and our subtitle sections, and then we've got our right section, which at the moment is an icon. It could also be a button. So let's have a look at the property inspector and we'll get it just right for what this app requires. So we don't want the left section. We're gonna put that to none. And the right section, we actually do want it to be a button, which we'll change the color of in just a moment. So if we go down to colors, and we go to right section color. And I want it to be the same as this, a nice blue color. Perfect. Okay, and we're gonna come back to this list um, in a later video. Um, but for now, we'll leave it as that for the UI part of it. Um, and there's one more thing to add to this, to this screen and it is the label widgets and all that we want to do is we want this to say um, we want the context of this to say my tasks and we want it to use the semi inter semi bold and you can either set the text size or you can choose from one of the presets I'm going to choose from one of the presets and I'm going to choose headline medium yeah that looks about right so if we just um, go ahead and resize that so it's looking nice and that and I'm just going to quickly move uh, this it seems that my screen recording is unfortunately lagging again slightly but that's fine um, that sh will not happen when you're doing it unless of course you are recording your screen um, okay that's starting to look really nice um, and that concludes the UI for the my tasks screen in the next video we'll be finishing off the UI sections on the add and edit tasks screen so um, thanks for watching well done for getting this far um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video